y'all welcome back to the channel i'm Belitra and this for Street hair review so you guys today i'm gonna be putting a wig on this wig right here you guys this is the equal hd lace in the style jesse you guys and i got high coconut so i'm gonna start off by braiding my hair my hair is stretched you guys i have natural hair so you know i'm not trying to braid it in its natural state so you guys i'm gonna go ahead and part half like this and then i'm gonna double strand twist to make sure my hair is not tangled or anything like that and we're going to start with the small braid right here on the side and i'm going to avoid braiding my edges as you can see my edges are out pretty much you guys it's been a little struggle they grow they fall out they grow they fall out again so yeah i'm just going to avoid braiding those over there i'm going to leave them alone and then i'm just going to start doing a little braid right here on the side and of course it's not going all the way back that's why i parted it in half and then i'm going to two strand twist this halfway down because i'm actually going to connect this braid to the braid that we do at the top so now i'm going to do another braid right here you guys and and I'm actually going to oil my scalp. I'm going to make sure my hair is well moisturized before I put these braids in, you guys. And you will find that when you moisturize your hair when you're braiding it, you guys, it is so much easier to take out because your hair is not dry and brittle. So now I'm going to make a part down in the back and I'm going to connect these two braids in this back part together, you guys. We're making one braid here. So we don't have to do so many braids. We can put everything together and then when it's time to take it out, it's going to be much, much easier. But we still want a braid pattern that is going to be flat. And y'all, make sure that you are moisturizing your hair as you are braiding once again you do not want to braid your hair dry so then i'm going to two strand twist my hair all the way to the ends because i do not like having to take out the braids at the bottom and i feel like it kind of prevents breakage as well too so next this is what the braids are looking like very simple and then i'm just going to take the tail of them and i'm going to weave them underneath the braids i usually do this with a crochet hook so that they can be completely under all the braids but i couldn't find it so this is what we got so this is what the braid pattern is you guys so this is the wig that i'm going to be using today this is the equal hd lace wig in the style jesse and i got the color high honey so this is the actual stock card for it you guys it's hd lace it's not completely a lace front wig you have a little bit of space but yeah i'll show you guys that so here is the wig fresh out of the pack here is the color you guys it's so pretty and i think it'll be really really cute for fall this is the inside of the wig caps construction here is the part very tight part but yes that's a yeah that's what we got for the part so you guys this is how much lace you have in the front from the weft not very much at all you guys it is literally probably like a quarter inch of actual lace that you can use there's three combs the two on the side the one in the back and you get the adjustable straps so y'all so i'm gonna use this even lace tint and i'm gonna go ahead and tint this lace you guys so that it can blend with my skin i'm really not sure but this is what it looks like you guys will see how close the color is i'm also using this lace tint on the actual cap so that we can blend that as well then i'm going to clean my skin with this sea breeze and get all of the excess oils and the powder from the lace tint and then i'm going in with this even lace wonder lace hair adhesive for lace wigs and i actually went over it three times so i sprayed it on blow dry let it dry sprayed it on again and i did that three times you guys because i want maximum hold so now i'm going to go ahead and put it at the end the very last hook so that i have enough space to put this wig on properly and then i actually put it way over my edges because i don't want it on my actual hairline i want it above and so it's kind of hard to get on but then i just tied down because i could not find my sleigh band so you guys i had to use this scarf so now i'm just taking it off and it looks like everything is pretty good like the part looks pretty good to me i wish i could tweeze some but i can't the lace in the front looks pretty good like it's tacked down very very well 
so now i'm gonna pull the hair back you guys and i'm gonna cut this excess lace off so i just went ahead and make a couple slits to make it a little bit easier and i don't have to do it all in one so i just started from this side and just did like zigzag shaped cuts and i tried to do me like a little widow's peak but i ended up cutting it off y'all because i actually naturally have a widow's peak which i've always hated but i mean i have it so i do want my wig to look as natural as possible but this one does look pretty wiggy because of the density in the front but i mean it's still a really cute wig so as you can see, you see the part where I made the little widow's peak there, cutting off the lace, but I ended up cutting it off trying to correct this. So this is what we got, but the part still looks good. Um, you are still going to see the grid for this one. It's not gonna look that, that natural, but I think it's pretty good. It melts it pretty well. So now I'm taking this wax stick, you guys, and I'm going to flatten this top part out and we're gonna make it as much as we can look like a sew-in. We don't want it to look like a wig. So you're gonna have to take those bottom layers and flatten those out too so not just the top you're gonna have to flip it over and flatten it out so i'm using my flat iron on the lowest setting and i'm just going over this with that wax stick and getting it as flat as i can without burning the hair so if you're going to use your if you're going to use your hot comb make sure it is on the lowest setting so that you do not burn your wig up because you will it's plastic and it's going to plastic so I'm just going ahead and flatten that out you guys i'm doing the same thing with the back don't forget the back because it will be popping up and sticking up when you finish so i went ahead and added that wax stick i actually got that from the the beauty supply store i want to say it was from style factor i think really not sure but yeah that's what i think it's from it was like the pineapple um flavor and yeah so i'm just applying that to the hair you guys just at the top we don't want it to be greasy but in order to get it to you know lay flat you do need that top part to have a little weight and so the product does add a little weight to the hair and helps it to flatten out and to lay flat so i'm doing the same thing on this side just using my using my um y'all know what that thing is called using my flat it's not a flat iron it's a hot comb i'm using the hot comb to flatten out the hair on this side just making both sides look the same i want it to look the same very symmetric so it's actually coming out better than i thought it was going to come out you guys so this lace it was really really soft though like really really soft so i'm just going ahead and i'm going to frame my face so i'm combing out this hair or brushing out this hair to get all the tangles out before i go ahead and cut into it because i'm not going to take that much off but i don't want any tangles because i want everything to be even so I'm just going to brush out the hair and make sure there's no tangles and then I'm just going to cut into it to frame the front of my face and just so that it falls flowy and not like I just took it out of the box and I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side and I actually cut into this one a little better than I did the other side so I actually had to go back and make them even this will help you get that little layered look so now I'm going to pull back all of the hair, you guys, and we're going to work on the hairline. We can't really do too, too much in the, on the hairline, but I am actually going to add baby hairs to this wig because I don't really like the hairline of it. And you really don't have much space to go ahead and tweeze and customize because your wefts will be showing. So the best way to cover that up is to go ahead and do some light baby hair and for synthetic wigs you definitely don't want to use a lot of hair because this hair is plastic y'all you have to remember that it's not actual human hair so you can't do a lot at a time because it's going to stick up it is not going to stay in place not for long at least so i'm taking just a little bit of hair and i'm using the even um, adhesive that I use to put the wig on and I just put a little bit on my finger and I put it on the part that I took out the hair I put it on top of it and I just laid it down swooped it and laid it down but you're gonna get it you're gonna have to give it like maybe 30 seconds 45 seconds to get a little bit tacky and then you will be able to go ahead and create your swoop so 
just a little bit of hair you should be able to count the strands that you take out literally you don't want to take out too many and you don't want to leave them too long well unless you want them really really big but i was looking for something kind of like simple not too much just to cover up and take away from their hairline and y'all this is the length of the hair this is the color of the hair i think it is so pretty this is how long it comes on me it is literally like butt length i did cut some off as you can see so it would have been even longer i really really love this wig and y'all i was trying to see what it looks like up in a ponytail but i don't like the hairline so if you want some volume that's what you can do brush it all up and then let it go and you will have some volume it won't be as flat as mine was but if you like that flat look just brush it right back down and it'll go back into place so yeah i really really like this wig like this is really really nice really really cute good quality hair the wig cap itself feels really comfortable and yeah so i'm gonna be wearing it mostly in a ponytail so this is how i'm gonna put it and put my scarf on to get ready to go to bed so y'all if i have any questions for me y'all leave me a comment down below hopefully soon i'll be doing the update review and let y'all know how this wig actually performed if it got nappy and stuff like that but thank y'all so much for watching leave me a comment down below until next time i'll see y'all later bye